here at the photo shoot uh, for my new book, The Joy of Kosher Cookbook, that's coming out with William Morrow and HarperCollins in the fall of 2013. Tonight I'm actually going to uh, go to the Nefesh Benefesh tweet up and it's about bridging the gap between the U.S. and Israel through social media. And that's where I'm announcing for the first time that we are moving to Israel. Every time I think about tonight I get a little butterfly in my stomach. We're at uh, the photo studio of my husband and wife team, their photographer and food stylist, Carrie and Andrew Purcell, and we're standing in front of the photo board. This is us two versions of almost the same thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I was kind of picturing that, we can't put it right I was going to say, how do we make it look different than that? We're on day seven of an eight day shoot. This has been my office for the last week. Frick is he's done, dude. <laughs> There's so many different things that we do, and it depends on the recipe and the mood. We want to also just show a wide range so that people just, you know, feel a lot of different things as they flow through the pages, and most important, that they feel like, I want to eat this. So did we use this one yet? I love this detail. The concept of the book is recipes that you can dress up for entertaining or dress down for every day. So that's why we have a lot, a lot of pictures. Hold and go back with that one a little bit, the big one. I think this is the most exciting part for me. It's when I get to relax and just watch everybody bring this hard work to life. I feel like the balance is nice. And the food looks fabulous. It's great. I wrote so much for this book. I went beyond recipe header notes, I went beyond anecdotes, and I made it like a memoir. It's uh, pretty amazing and I'm super excited for it. So we're on our way to 69th Street. It's becoming so surreal, this announcement. Once I get it off my chest, once I share it, I know that I'll just feel so much more relaxed and so much better. And then Wednesday's back to regularly scheduled programming, as regular as it can be when you're moving your family in less than eight weeks. <laughs> you know, for the last 2,000 years, the Jewish people, it's been a dream in their heart to return. So it's been like that for us, but it just became like, it's never the right time until you make it the right time. So we decided it's this year. I have so much family there, and I'd love to be with them for the holidays and have my kids grow up with cousins. I'm really excited to see what reaction there will be to, to my news. So it's an intense day. Um, good evening, my name is Mark Rosenberg. Uh, I work with uh, Nefesh Benefesh. We're here for this tweet up to sort of celebrate the, I think the challenges before us and the wonderful networks that we're building together. Thank you very much. Um, you're gonna have to just bear with me if I get a little bit emotional. I do a lot of public speaking, but I'm about to share something extremely personal that I'm sharing in public for the first time. I am Jamie Geller, and me and my husband and our family are making Aliyah this summer. I feel a little better, a little bit of an exhale. Like, yeah, you too? I have never been so nervous to speak to a crowd before. I cannot believe the reception. It was amazing. It's so incredible to be supported and have such a supportive community. Sarah and Lassie. If all the things you could say, that was not what right. I was expecting. I wasn't going to say I'm pregnant in front of everyone. I'm not, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like this huge life change, and it's so incredible to share it, you know? I'm just bursting with excitement. I was like a little nervous, but now I'm, just, I'm so excited. So I don't know if I'll sleep tonight, I'm not sure. My husband's like scheduling a day with me. But I'll tell you what, he just emailed me. Wednesday, we are going to get a washer dryer, a microwave, a toaster oven, a dishwasher, Bins, dressers, beds, bedding, computer, printer. That's Wednesday. Setting up our new life in Israel. 